Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And uh, to those cross watching as well, and welcome to your tarot love readings. We are going to take a look at uh, the one who's ghosted you here. We're going to take a look at um, why it is they might have ghosted you and where they're at right now with regards to their energy and their emotions. So once again, the reading here is going to center on the one that's disappeared here. The one who's, you know, disappeared on you and vanished like a Vegas musician, uh, dissipated into thin air. So guys, as always, these readings are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle here and see... What is it that you might need to know about the connection or the energy here? got the Ten of Cups here, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups as well, Three of Wands, the Fool card here, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, you've got three out of the four Knights that has um, made an appearance, that have made an appearance here in your Tarot spread. So I can see here that this is someone who's um, cut off communication rather abruptly here leaving you, sorry, I'm bumping the table, um, leaving a lot of questions unanswered here. From what I can also see, there was a strong water energy, or this person has had a strong water, um, I'm seeing strong water placement in their natal chart here. So a Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio here. Could also be a strong fire energy here. A uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could, of course, be the other two elements as well, Earth and Air. But I feel that there is strong water and fire energy here. Okay. Um, so here's the thing, guys. This is someone whom... This is a little bit odd because I feel like it's um, a little bit of contradiction from what I'm seeing here. I do feel like this individual here, this is someone who wanted... Um, they actually are after a relationship. Or they actually wanted to... Um, they're wanting to settle down. They're wanting to invest into a relationship, into something that's long-term, into something that's consistent and permanent. They actually want to settle down, get married, get engaged, have a wedding, or, you know, have that happily ever after, the storybook romance here with the Ten of Cups. So they want these things. So why is it that they ran away when they had a chance... To have all of these things, why is it that this person fleed? Firstly, I feel like um, water energies, it's important for you to know that this person was a bit selfish from what I can see. Okay, This is someone who I feel like they've put their own emotional needs ahead of yours. So a very selfish, self-centered individual. The other thing that I'm getting here is that there's some sort of disharmony with their energy. There's a very unsettled, restless kind of energy here around them and although sometimes you know people want something but they're not necessarily ready for it so although this person you know feels or felt like they wanted something serious and they wanted a relationship i'm seeing that this is someone who wants or did want marriage or at least they think they do i don't feel like this person is ready for it there may be still some sort of um trauma that needs to be healed from previous relationships or some sort of disharmony here that needs looking at from what I can see with regards to their energy. I'm seeing here for, um, for some of you, I'm seeing that external factors have created some sort of chaos, have created some distraction in their life as well. I mean, if you take a look at their cards here, if you take a look at your cards here, all cards um, are strongly suggesting to us that this is someone who values romance and this is someone who I feel like this person would make a, there's a lot of promising potential between you and this individual. I'm also seeing that this is someone who's going to come back into your life. So just because they ghosted you here and disappeared into thin air, um, 
for some of you I feel like yeah it was very abrupt but I feel like there has been some communication I don't think I'm wrong in saying that or for instance if you text them here this person will respond they will text back maybe they won't respond with what they what you want them to respond with but I'm seeing that you will get communication back from this individual but notice you know the two of knights here they're heading in one direction and notice how with the three of wands here we you know he's got his back turned to us there is something key that i feel like some sort of significant shift in their life is going to prompt them to turn around and i feel like they're going to respond to you they're going to reach out and communicate with uh, with you or otherwise i'm seeing that this person is they're doing a lot of chasing so all of a sudden i feel like this person is going to start chasing you here okay so at this i know it's maybe a little bit hard for some of you to accept but what, from what i can see and from what the energies um from what the energies are telling me here that it's important uh for you to know that at that point in time when you were ghosted here the two of you weren't meant to be I'm also seeing that perhaps there were some sort of meddling friends. Maybe um, this individual has some single friends around them. And I feel like someone he meddled between, they got in the way here. They were doing a lot of meddling here. And the issue with the Knight of Pentacles here is that he's someone who, who, um, who does a lot of thinking, right? He thinks ahead, he assesses a lot, which is a good thing. Um, this is someone who, you know likes to make um he's very committed he's very uh he's slow and steady okay he's very slow and steady um but he's quite invested here this knight likes to take his time in in deciding here notice how he holds the pentacle and he gazes out towards the future with careful consideration here so believe me when i say that this person did see and did think about having a future with you or I, I feel like for some of you, maybe this person was meant to take you on a date and this person might have ghosted you then. This person did see this happening for, you, for the two of you. They actually did see themselves getting involved in a relationship with you. And I feel like that's exactly where the problem stems. I feel like that sort of, on some level, that frightened this individual off because it, it started feeling really real. They could actually see a future with you. They could actually see themselves um, involved in a future with you and building a future with you they could see themselves doing some traveling with you they could see themselves settling down building a home here um, feathering your nest uh, feathering you know the two, your nest together here this person could see you in their future and that scared them that really frightened them sometimes people are just as afraid of success as they are of failure and I feel like this is what's happened here I'm also seeing there's this unsettled, I did mention earlier on in the reading that there's an unsettled energy with the Fool and the Knight of Wands. This is an emotionally scattered individual you're dealing with. So again, um, this person's emotions are a little bit inconsistent, which I feel like are in line with their actions as well. Um, there's something here that's shifted. Look, it might have been something that you might have said here that maybe rubbed them off the wrong way. Um, or it might have been something that you might have said that they maybe they misinterpreted or maybe um, you might have miscommunicated. There's something here that I feel like caused some sort of shift because notice how the knights are faced in one direction and you've got the fool and the knight of wands who's faced in another direction. So this is someone who I feel like you were chasing. When this person ghosted you, I feel like you um, you reached out to them. Now, for some of you, you didn't get a response, but that's a small fraction of you. Whilst for the others, I feel like you did get a response from this person. Granted, it's not what you wanted uh, to hear, because um, I feel like you wanted something more, but this person did respond to you. And if you do message this person, I feel like they still will respond to you. But there will, become, there will come a time here when I feel like something here shifts dramatically for this person, and they will start chasing you again. Something shifts, but it's important for you to know that this is actually an internal shift. It has nothing to do with external factors. So there's nothing you can say or do to uh, make them feel, make them think otherwise. So this shift needs to take place internally and emotionally within them. Okay, so it's important for you to understand that no external factors could change how they feel about, you know, getting involved with you or getting involved in a relationship for that matter. This shift needs to take um, place within them. But I am seeing that it's very likely that 
and it's going to happen fast. When it does happen, it will happen um, very, like the turn of events will happen very swiftly and will happen very quickly for you. But uh, with regards to their emotions, I feel like this person was a little bit, they were, they wanted, they wanted a future with you, they wanted a relationship, they wanted to get involved with you romantically, but I feel like when feelings, when, when they started catching real feelings for you, or when feelings, uh, when things seem to, seem to start getting like really real here this is what's caused the person to pull back and to disappear um, now for a lot of you i feel like this is someone whom you just slowly started getting to know so they didn't really feel again i feel like it's part of their selfish nature here they didn't really feel like they owed you an explanation um, and also feel, feel like this person has um you know they didn't want to put themselves in a position where they felt like they were the bad guy or they felt like they had to explain themselves that they, you know, chickened out or that they uh, aren't certain with what it is that they're feeling here. They didn't want to put themselves in such a, in a, such a, an uncomfortable position, which is why they thought that, you know, um, ghosting you or just cutting off communication abruptly was going to be the easy way out when in fact it's the coward's way out. But I do feel like this, with regards to this individual, the energy still somehow seems to be connected to you, um, whether it's via an emo emotional or a mental cord here um, but I feel like there's some sort of connection and I do see this person coming back into your life um, so here's the thing the other um, you have to understand that this person needs to be held accountable for their actions because when they do come back into their life much like the fool and the knight of wands he he or she is just going to waltz back into your life and act like not much has happened like they didn't do you wrong or they didn't ghost you or they're going to try and pick up where the two of you have left off so it's important that you do hold accountable, um, that you do hold them accountable because it's very likely that if you don't pull them up about it, this might happen again. And you need to, they need to understand that they've disrespected you or they've hurt you or they've disappointed you. Um, they need to be held accountable here. So just a heads up, take it as a warning that this person, yeah, is going to waltz back into your life, just breeze back into your life. Like they didn't do you wrong or, you know, they didn't do anything wrong here. Like they're innocent and all of this or um, they don't have to apologize or they don't have to account for what they did yes they do because i can see that they've sort of turned their back on you they turned their, their back on and they wanted this here's the thing that they sort of not only did they hurt you but they also hurt themselves indirectly because there's a lot of promising potential here between you and this energy that i'm picking up on there's a lot of promising potential but unfortunately this person robbed you and robbed themselves of the uh opportunity to get to know one another and to explore the depths of this connection here so there is no communication now, but if you do contact this person, he or she will respond to you, but they won't respond to you in the manner that you want them to respond. It's not like they're going to all of a sudden remember all about you and then, you know, things are going to take off from there. No, there's going to be some sort of, in, um, some sort of internal shift that is going to happen within them, which is going to make them turn around and all of a sudden, you know, really want to connect with you connect with you emotionally and really want to pursue this they'll be doing a lot of chasing maybe because by then um you know you've long since moved on with your life and they can see that you're doing you and you're busy and you know you're not you're not the one chasing after them um, and i feel like they may be somewhat bothered by your lack of interest or they may be bothered by the fact that you know you're so independent and you're so good without them that will bother them on some level and they, I, I see that this person is going to pursue you um, very heavily here, very heavily. And it's like, they're not quitting. They're not quitting until they win you over. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, thank you for watching and listening. Please do show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking or sharing. Um, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, thank you guys again. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings, so stay tuned. Bye for now.